Yeah, hello everyone! I have come up with what is probably my worst idea yet. I am going to play... Yes... This game, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um, I'll tell you the story why I've been playing this, actually. Uh, on my Tumblr, I mentioned that I've uh, seen some sort of article that was like... Uh, it said something about that if you didn't like Majora's Mask, try playing it again and uh, you'll, you might like it because, you know, you actually know where to go and whatnot. So that's kind of what I've been doing here and there, not like feeling obligated to play the game or anything like that. Just like whenever I'm feeling masochistic, I come to uh, uh, play a l little bit more of this game here. And uh, let's see, I want to I copy my files just so that I am... Pretty sure my, uh, number one is the main file here. What I'm going to be doing in this video is playing through the Great Bay Temple, starting from ye ol' day one, you know, because you got to get maximum time if you want to uh, try your best to get through one of these suckers 100% and whatnot. And here we are. Oh, God, it's starting. But first, I'm going to play... The song! That slows time. <laughs> it's called the Inverted Song of Time. And, yep. So let's do that. And now time has been slow. Let's get rid of this mask. Oh, wait, uh, hold on a sec. I should, because I restarted the days, I, of course, have to get my supplies back, because that's just how uh, Majora's Mask works. See, every time you reset the days, you lose all of your collection of stuff, so I would like to get my- Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so I would like to get my, um, get, uh, uh, my arrows and bombs back, if you don't mind. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do here, and from what I can tell, the best way to do this is to go to the outskirts of town, hello, Tingle, and, and then we go and roll through the grass until we fill up on bombs and arrows. So let's do this! Yeah! Oh, I got nothing there. This, unfortunately, can take a while, as is the nature of Majora's Mask, because nothing in this game is designed for you to be having some nice, smooth gameplay. <laughs> But anyway, we're just gonna roll around here, and yes, you have you pretty much have to do this every time you uh, restart the uh, three days, because pretty much everything requires bombs and arrows at some point, and why did I try and roll through that real bomb too? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what do I have so far? I'm not sure. Uh, let's just take a look-see here. I got ten bombs, almost filled up on them. I, I got the bomb upgrade, so I'm at 30 bombs, actually. Yeah, I should probably end... Oh, they got some more bombs! Oh my god! This is some... some invigorating gameplay right here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna just, uh... complain about Majora's Mask, because it's gonna be fun, and people are gonna downvote the video, because they, they're gonna like that. And if he like, yeah, I'm gonna show him. <laughs> I'm just messing around here, really. Alright, I think I'm full. Yes, I am full! Okay, so... Let's fly over to the Great Bay Temple now. And... Oh god, let's get it started. Zora Cape is what we're looking for here. And... That uh, visual effect is kind of dizzying, by the way. <laughs> And it happens a lot in this game, too. Anyway, I need the Zora mask out to be able to do this, and I kind of forgot the, the song that I need to play, so I might have to look into my inventory, but I guess we shall see here. Uh, but anyway, let's play ye old song right here. There we go, I think it's... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go! <laughs> I remember the combination. And yeah, you do have to be in Zora form to get the reaction out of her. Whoa. Why should they get the reaction out of the turtle more than anything? <laughs> and there we go. The open seas of Great Bay have need of your might. Quickly, climb onto my back. 
Okay, because we're on a freaking time limit. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and grab my hook shots, which is oops, which is actually more like a a long shot if you think about it compared to the length of the hook shot in the original uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, sometimes it's tricky to hit these trees because. It, they're slightly swaying, and you sometimes miss them, even if the target cursor is directly over it. Anyway, Great Bay Temple, here we are. You can see it's in the shape of a fish. Yes, makes a lot of sense. Oh god, we're entering! Oh, this is not gonna be good, it's gonna be terrible! <laughs> this is technically gonna be my third time through the temple, because my first run through the game was uh, basically me kind of giving up. <laughs> on the game after a while, but I did make it past this temple. The second run was me playing through the game fully, and this is my third run through it. They <clears throat> shouldn't try to approach the place for treasure, for the winds are pretty vicious around these parts. They are not vicious enough to pick up the turtle, though, which is why we can enter. And here we are. Yes, the place of our doom, and oh god, that, that underwater effect when you enter the water like that is also pretty dizzy. <laughs> so here we are, and I do plan on getting all the fairies. Unfortunately. Oops, no, not that. Not that. There we go. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I need my ocarina, come to think of it. But anyway, what I'm going to be doing here is uh, breaking apart some barrels, I suppose, because I'm pretty... Um, oh wait, maybe you get the fairy from... Uh, lighting. Oh, wait, there's this kind of fairy. That would be handy to have on hand. But uh, what I'm looking for are the fairies that revive the great fairy um, that's split into multiple pieces due to the effects of the Skull Kid. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna see if there's another fairy in said other set of barrels that are on this side. We shall see. Oh, yes. We shall see. Potentially. Oh, great. There's arrows and bombs here. Well. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's okay, you don't lose any health. But it does take you back uh, over here. Alright, let's light these suckers. I like to do it standing like here. We go something like this. and Because it's, it's sort of like a central location to be able to light these suckers. That was a little bit too close to the edge there. That's okay. And one more... Oh, no, 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 not close enough. There we go. And thus, this makes a chest appear! If that wasn't going to be obvious, that was going to happen. Because, you know, when you light stuff in Zelda games, things happen. And there's the first tree fairy, and I can target the turtle. Oh, yeah. What's wrong? Returning to shore? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. No, I, I prefer not to. <laughs> Wait, I, no, 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 not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to chat, really. Uh, this this thing lights up after you beat the boss, by the way. It, it lets you warp to the boss room, which you probably know that by now. Whoa! That's a huge water wheel! I probably said that in too low of a voice. We're okay, we're okay. Um, let's see, what can we do here? Well, first, we should probably get rid of the, the Gora mask. <laughs> just get this set up here, and I should actually switch to regular arrows there. There we go. And let's hop in the water and explore a little bit. Oh god. <laughs> I'm looking for a, uh, yeah, that thing right there. It's controls of Majora's Mask. Not the best things in the world. <laughs> and yeah, I want to push this thing. Because this does things. You shall see what things it does. Once I do the thing of pushing. Oh. Yeah, see that it kind of kind of stops that water there. If we push it again, <laughs> so slow. <laughs> and as you can tell, it turns it back on. But what that does is it actually does something. And I, I just wanted to show you that for the future. Because there's that, oh yeah, I gotta get that fairy underwater there. But there's actually something that has to do with something there. I'm gonna free that fairy like so. And, and knowing about that, the water here does wonders for your knowledge of the temple, I guess you could say. 
And uh, oh, this over here is another sort of kind of switch. If we dive onto, no, 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 no. If I want to grab, no, no, grab, grab, <laughs> grab. <laughs> People wonder why Majora's Mask bugs me. <laughs> but what this does is it activates something. Whoa! It has activated this permanently! See that? It, it made this flowy water thing go through here, and the objective of this dungeon is mainly to get all of those things active. Uh, that water wheel doesn't really have anything to do with that particular puzzle, yet it does, because you kinda kind of have to get the water wheel reversed at a certain point to be able to fully explore this place. But uh, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. By the way, isn't that? I'm pretty sure there's a. Uh, uh, pretty sure there's another fairy in one of these skulltulas somewhere. Uh, it's somewhere in this room. Maybe it's that one over there. Could be that one over there. Maybe I'll go over there <laughs> just before I move on, because I'm pretty sure there is another fairy in this room via the skulltulas. Oh, come on, get back here! I only have three days. And those three days are only like two hours, two and a half hours or something like that when you triple it with the uh, Song of Inverted Time. There we go, and plop on there. Now let's see if we can get across there without being knocked over the edge by the skull too long. That didn't work out very well. <laughs> Should have aimed more towards the right edge. If I get... Wait, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, camera up. Oh. <laughs> now I gotta wait for the cycle again. Come on, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. And obviously you can't, you know, take care of the Skulltula. A, I'm just gonna go, 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 go! There we go. <laughs> you can't take care of the Skulltula until you get its attention because it does that flippy thing and it's always facing you. So yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. There's the other fairy that I was looking for. Sweet. And it. Eep. Oh no, I'm being pushed underwater. Okay, it's, it's, it's lovely. Alright, let's move on here. Because I don't think there's anything more I can do in this room. I just wanted to set up one of the water spouts there and uh, get the two fairies. At least I don't think there's anything more you can do in this room. Like, maybe there's going to be some treasure chest or something like that. Like, that over there is for something a little bit later. I don't think you can get to that now because, yeah, see that? You, it, you, it requires the water spout to jump over there, and yeah, that's the that's the whole thing. Anyway, I'm going to try and land on this thing. Oh god! <laughs> because it's clear, it's kind of hard to uh, get a feel for that. Isn't there another skull to up? No skull to up. Okay, good. <laughs> We're good. We're golden. Oh. And we made it past the first room, kind of. I get it. A huge water wheel is powering this thing. Yeah, so that, that water wheel back here, see that thing that's spinning here? Um, that uh, makes the flow of this thing change, basically. And anyway, I'm going to try and uh, hop onto... Well, I, it's really necessary that I go onto the other side. I don't think... Oh, need my, well, I guess I'm going down. <laughs> Didn't really mean to do that, but whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Actually, I could I could climb out using uh, this side right here! There we go! <laughs> and then we can just do the, the jumps from up top here. But uh, I'm going to see if... Uh, wasn't there... Yeah, there is something over on that side, so maybe I'll go take a gander over there first before I dive underwater. Yeah! Woo! Okay, we're good. <laughs> climb it. Good. And now, uh, wait for camera is not your friend in this place. Because <laughs> they just don't know how to do a good camera angle in this game. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm having... Oh uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do that right now. Okay, let's just go under. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I think I want to go through... Which one is the one? Uh... Oh, mm. The snow? Hold on, I want... Can I go like... No! Mm -mm. Forgot which way I need to go. I, I'll, I'm gonna try this way. 
<laughs> I'm gonna eventually go through all the places anyway, though. Oh yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. Careful of the skullfish. They are your main nemesis in these waters. In fact, they're not the only kinds of enemies you see in the water, for the most part, aside from, um... Uh, what's the name of those hands? Uh, oh, I need the Deku scrub. Uh, I forgot the name offhand. <laughs> I'll, I'll scan it with Tattle. What I need to do here is go... Oop, 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 oop. I was a little off on my angle there, but that's okay, we're good. And this gives us the dungeon map, if I recall correctly! Yeah! Woo! Alright! Hmm, I'm already at, like, 15 minutes this part. Maybe I'll go a little longer. Hmm... I don't think I can get up there just yet. So, let's dive! And use the shield on more fish! Where are they, anyway? They should be coming... Any minute... Oh, they're gonna... Okay. <laughs> I want... No, I want to turn to the side, but you can't do that when you're dropping. <laughs> ah, here we go. These are the hands that I'm thinking of. What's their name? Tattle, what's her name? Dexy Hand. Oh, okay. So anyway, I gotta clear these bad boys out. And I'm gonna clear the other one out. That's why I dropped down here. I suppose I could have used my shield as well. That would have worked just as well. But uh, I don't know. I guess I want to kind of conserve my magic power, I guess. All right, let's oh, no, no, surface and swim like a fish. Woo! Now, in this room, we got a... Uh, oh god, these are a new kind of Deku Baba. Here, I'll give you uh, I'll give you a little idea. Bio Deku Baba, it's pretty much just a Deku Baba, except it's got that pad thing that it's attached to. It's like a lily pad. Oh yeah, that's right. Because you're in such a tight area, you can't Z-target stuff, so you gotta make Oh! Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I didn't kill you off. <laughs> How could I have forgotten about you? Uh, yeah, that, when you cut them off like that, they, they're they still alive, so you gotta aim for their head, and I was kind of being a derp -a derp there. But yeah, and because the corridors are so tight around here, it's not the easiest thing to swim around in this place. So yeah, and if you go on uh, this, like so, you, yeah, you can actually go across these lily pads over to the side if you're careful enough. Don't fall off the edge, because for some reason, if you are... Oh, Jesus, I didn't kill it. I didn't kill it! Oh, God! She's just gonna try and evade it? Okay, there we go. <laughs> and if I kill all the critters here, I'll get a prize up on this ledge. And there we go. Yeah. Open says me, it's a fairy! Oh yeah. Okay, I'm not that pleased to find it. <laughs> but I, I guess I am sorta, because I want, I do want to 100% this dungeon. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.